Hello! So, one of the things we can do to help students become effective, lifelong learners is to guide them in how they react to feedback. Many students see feedback as a threat to their work, their intelligence, or worse, their identity. We want to create a classroom full of students who see feedback not as a judgment on themselves, but as a valuable tool to grow learning and constantly improve. One way to create that climate is through modeling and a culture of embracing feedback. As a teacher, when you solicit feedback from your students in a healthy and constructive manner, you're demonstrating how they should respond to feedback from you, and everyone wins. Google Forms is an incredibly powerful tool for a wide range of data collection, including gathering student feedback. So let's start a new Google Form. First, head into the settings gear here. You can restrict the survey to only people who are part of your domain. You can also collect email addresses from people filling out the form. But it's typically best to leave this type of form anonymous, so I'm going to leave that box unchecked. So the first thing I do when creating any type of new Google file is to give it a title, to avoid ending up with a drive full of unnamed files. So I'm going to name this Summer Student Feedback 2016. In the form, you can ask a wide variety of questions, including multiple choice and short answer questions. Here, I'm going to create a theoretical question, asking students how well they thought discussion questions helped them understand Shakespeare's Macbeth. Since I'm asking them to rank an answer, I'll use a scale question and ask them to leave a rating from 1 to 5. I'll make the 1 very effective and the 5 least effective. I'm also going to require an answer to this question to make sure that no one skips it. Next, I'm going to invite further discussion on the topic by inserting a paragraph question, but I'll make this one optional. I can create as many or as few questions as I want. Once I'm ready to share the form, I can go to the Send button up here. I can either email an invitation to students from here, I can get a link, or a shortened link by clicking this option, or I can get an embed code for the form here. Once I'm satisfied that enough students have provided the feedback I'm looking for, I can analyze the results through the Responses tab here. With this valuable feedback, I can make any necessary changes to my resources in order to better serve my students' learning. And as an added bonus, I've just shown my students that feedback is a valuable tool for increased mastery and lifelong learning.